Welcome to Historical English Explorer, your daily guide to mastering English. In today's episode, you will learn ten new English words, and I will help you memorize them effectively through listening, speaking, and repetition. Remember, this story has a previous part. Please watch it first to better understand what's happening. After hearing the doctor's important advice about her meals, Sarah made a curious decision. She was determined to go shopping, but what would she find? Let's see what unfolds on her intriguing shopping journey. In the heart of London, under a sky streaked with clouds, Sarah set out on a mission to change her life. She remembered the doctor's advice vividly. Eat more fruits and vegetables, drink plenty of water, and take care of her health. These words echoed in her mind as she walked towards the bustling market. The market was a vibrant tapestry of sights and sounds. Stalls were laden with fresh produce, and the air was filled with the chatter of shoppers and the calls of vendors. Sarah felt a wave of excitement as she stepped into this lively scene. She had been here before, but today was different. Today, she was here not just as a bystander, but as someone on a quest for health. Sarah started at the fruit section. She was greeted by a kaleidoscope of colors, the deep red of cherries, the bright orange of tangerines, the sunny yellow of lemons. She picked up an apple, feeling its smooth skin, and inhaled its fresh scent. She added apples to her basket and then selected some oranges, their citrus aroma invigorating her senses. Bananas, with their promise of quick energy, also went into the basket, along with a punnet of strawberries, their redness like little beacons of health. Next, she moved to the vegetables. Here, the green of the spinach seemed to embody vitality. She picked up a bunch, imagining the iron-rich leaves nourishing her body. Carrots, with their crunch and sweetness, promised both taste and health benefits. She added tomatoes, envisioning the lycopene coursing through her body, and broccoli, a powerhouse of nutrients, completed her selection. As Sarah wandered through the market, she felt a growing sense of determination. This was more than just shopping. It was a step towards a new way of living. She paused to smell the herbs, basil, thyme, rosemary, each with its unique fragrance and health benefits. Her basket was now a cornucopia of healthful choices. It was then that Sarah met an elderly woman, her own basket brimming with greens. The woman's eyes twinkled with wisdom and kindness. You're making great choices, young lady, she said to Sarah. They struck up a conversation, sharing their love for healthy foods. The woman, who introduced herself as Mrs. Thompson, shared some of her favorite recipes, a spinach and apple salad, a carrot and ginger soup, a tomato and basil pasta. Sarah listened intently, her mind filling with ideas and possibilities. Armed with new recipes and a renewed sense of purpose, Sarah paid for her groceries. She felt a sense of accomplishment, her basket a testament to her commitment to health. She thanked Mrs. Thompson and made her way home, her steps light with anticipation. Back at her house, Sarah laid out her purchases. The array of fruits and vegetables on her kitchen counter was not just food, it was a palette of health and well-being. She felt a surge of creativity and couldn't wait to start cooking. Sarah's journey to health had just begun, but she already felt a change. She was taking control of her well-being one meal at a time. As she chopped, cooked, and tasted, she knew that this was more than a diet change. It was a lifestyle transformation. In the heart of London, a city of endless possibilities, Sarah was embarking on her most important adventure, the journey to health. And now moving to the fun part, and let's practice together. Repeat after me. In the heart of London. In the heart of London. 
under a sky streaked with clouds. Under a sky streaked with clouds. Sarah set out on a mission. Sarah set out on a mission to change her life. To change her life. She remembered the doctor's advice vividly. She remembered the doctor's advice vividly. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Drink plenty of water. Drink plenty of water. And take care of her health. And take care of her health. These words echoed in her mind. These words echoed in her mind. As she walked towards the bustling market. As she walked towards the bustling market. The market was a vibrant tapestry. The market was a vibrant tapestry of sights and sounds. Of sights and sounds. Stalls were laden with fresh produce. Stalls were laden with fresh produce. And the air was filled with the chatter of shoppers. And the air was filled with the chatter of shoppers. And the calls of vendors. And the calls of vendors. Sarah felt a wave of excitement. Sarah felt a wave of excitement as she stepped into this lively scene. As she stepped into this lively scene. She had been here before. She had been here before. But today was different. But today was different. Today, she was here. Today, she was here. Not just as a bystander. Not just as a bystander. But as someone on a quest for health. But as someone on a quest for health. Sarah started at the fruit section. Sarah started at the fruit section. She was greeted by a kaleidoscope of colors. She was greeted by a kaleidoscope of colors. The deep red of cherries. The deep red of cherries. The bright orange of tangerines. The bright orange of tangerines. The sunny yellow of lemons. The sunny yellow of lemons. She picked up an apple. She picked up an apple. Feeling its smooth skin. Feeling its smooth skin. And inhaled its fresh scent. And inhaled its fresh scent. She added apples to her basket. She added apples to her basket. And then selected some oranges. And then selected some oranges. Their citrus aroma. Their citrus aroma. Invigorating her senses. Invigorating her senses. Bananas, with their promise of quick energy. Bananas, with their promise of quick energy. Also went into the basket. Also went into the basket. Along with a punnet of strawberries. Along with a punnet of strawberries. 
Their redness. Their redness. Like little beacons of health. Like little beacons of health. Next, she moved to the vegetables. Next, she moved to the vegetables. Here, the green of the spinach seemed to embody vitality. Here, the green of the spinach seemed to embody vitality. She picked up a bunch. She picked up a bunch. Imagining the iron rich leaves nourishing her body. Imagining the iron rich leaves nourishing her body. Carrots, with their crunch and sweetness, Carrots, with their crunch and sweetness, promised both taste and health benefits. Promised both taste and health benefits. She added tomatoes. She added tomatoes, envisioning the lycopene coursing through her body. Envisioning the lycopene coursing through her body. And broccoli, a powerhouse of nutrients. And broccoli, a powerhouse of nutrients. Completed her selection. Completed her selection. As Sarah wandered through the market. As Sarah wandered through the market. She felt a growing sense of determination. She felt a growing sense of determination. This was more than just shopping. This was more than just shopping. It was a step towards a new way of living. It was a step towards a new way of living. She paused to smell the herbs. She paused to smell the herbs. Basil, thyme, rosemary. Basil, thyme, rosemary. Each with its unique fragrance and health benefits. Each with its unique fragrance and health benefits. Her basket was now a cornucopia of healthful choices. Her basket was now a cornucopia of healthful choices. It was then that Sarah met an elderly woman. It was then that Sarah met an elderly woman. Her own basket, her own basket, brimming with greens, brimming with greens. The woman's eyes twinkled with wisdom. The woman's eyes twinkled with wisdom and kindness and kindness. You're making great choices, young lady, she said to Sarah. You're making great choices, young lady, she said to Sarah. They struck up a conversation. They struck up a conversation, sharing their love for healthy foods. Sharing their love for healthy foods. The woman who introduced herself, the woman who introduced herself as Mrs. Thompson, as Mrs. Thompson, shared some of her favorite recipes shared some of her favorite recipes. A spinach and apple salad. A spinach and apple salad. A carrot and ginger soup. A carrot and ginger soup. A tomato and basil pasta. A tomato and basil pasta.
Sarah listened intently. Sarah listened intently. Her mind filling with ideas and possibilities. Her mind filling with ideas and possibilities. Armed with new recipes and a renewed sense of purpose. Armed with new recipes and a renewed sense of purpose. Sarah paid for her groceries. Sarah paid for her groceries. She felt a sense of accomplishment. She felt a sense of accomplishment. Her basket a testament to her commitment to health. Her basket a testament to her commitment to health. She thanked Mrs. Thompson. She thanked Mrs. Thompson and made her way home, and made her way home, her steps light with anticipation. Her steps light with anticipation. Back at her house, back at her house, Sarah laid out her purchases. Sarah laid out her purchases. The array of fruits and vegetables the array of fruits and vegetables on her kitchen counter on her kitchen counter was not just food was not just food it was a palette of health and well-being it was a palette of health and well-being she felt a surge of creativity she felt a surge of creativity and couldn't wait to start cooking. And couldn't wait to start cooking. Sarah's journey to health. Sarah's journey to health had just begun. Had just begun. But she already felt a change. But she already felt a change. She was taking control of her well-being. She was taking control of her well-being. One meal at a time. One meal at a time. As she chopped, cooked, and tasted. As she chopped, cooked, and tasted. She knew that this was more than a diet change. She knew that this was more than a diet change. It was a lifestyle transformation. It was a lifestyle transformation. In the heart of London, in the heart of London, a city of endless possibilities, a city of endless possibilities, Sarah was embarking on her most important adventure. Sarah was embarking on her most important adventure. The journey to health. The journey to health. It's time to explore some English vocabulary and expressions from the story we've just covered to enrich your language skills. Fruits. Fruits are sweet and juicy parts of plants that you can eat. Example, Sarah bought apples, bananas, and oranges, which are all healthy fruits. Vegetables. Vegetables are parts of plants that are eaten as food. They are not usually sweet. Example, carrots, broccoli, and spinach are vegetables that Sarah added to her basket. Skin. Skin is the outer layer that covers the body of a person or animal. Example. Sarah peeled the skin off the apple before eating it. Fresh. When something is fresh, it is new or has just been made or picked. Example. Sarah bought fresh vegetables that were still green and crisp. Basket. A basket is a container made of woven strips of wood or other material often used for carrying things. Example, 
Sarah carried a basket to hold all the fruits and vegetables she bought at the market. Taste. Taste is the flavor of something or the ability to notice the flavor of something in your mouth. Example. The fresh strawberries Sarah ate had a sweet and delicious taste. Towards. Towards means in the direction of something or someone. Example. Sarah walked towards the market to buy her groceries. Choices. Choices are the acts of picking between two or more possibilities. Example. Sarah had many choices of fruits and vegetables at the market. Recipes. Recipes are sets of instructions for making food or drinks. Example. Mrs. Thompson gave Sarah some healthy recipes to try cooking at home. Ideas. Ideas are thoughts or suggestions about what to do. Example. After talking to Mrs. Thompson, Sarah had many new ideas for meals. For effective learning, it's advised to listen to the story again after 15 minutes, then 45 minutes, and finally after one hour and a half. This approach helps in retaining the new vocabulary in your long-term memory.